Hi everyone, Dr. White here with a quick Friday supplemental, um, not even a lecture really, just an informal explanation. Um, I haven't gotten too many questions, which is a good thing, but I am going to address what I have. And it's really a couple iterations of the same question, which is about distinguishing between communities of practice and discourse communities. So um, I've heard this question phrased two ways. One, someone sent me an example of a four-page uh, article from a reputable publication and inquired as to whether this represented a community of practice or discourse community. So technically speaking, this represented a community of practice because, um, and let me pull the journal title up right now. That is the wrong thing. Okay, here it is. So technically speaking, it constitutes a community of practice because what you're actually looking at is an article geared towards uh, how to improve practices in um, and the title here, medication adherence, monitoring implications for patients and providers. So that word implications in the title there is um, key because it tells you what the stakes are and it's action that can be taken for patients and providers. Um, also the title of this uh, publication um, is a healthcare management forum and so that idea of management again is kind of a tip that it's probably going to be community of practice oriented because it's about how to manage cases. Uh, the primary evidence in here is from case studies and the conclusions uh, recommend specific tools and uh, it, uh, the, the, uh, the last sentence of the article actually, relevant stakeholders including patient advocates, clinicians, regulators, and privacy experts need to further collaborate to address ethical concerns so the full potential of e-prescribing may be realized. So if you look at it, the stakes are e-prescribing and uh, well the practice of pharmacy uh, as it relates to public health. So it's about the practical aspect of it. It's about doing things. Yes, we need more knowledge to be created, but it's knowledge towards application. So this is why these terms, discourse community and community of practice, can be a little bit slippery. Um, obviously, in this case, one has to belong to the discourse community in order to participate in the community of practice. But the primary source of knowledge is observational, and it's towards um, it's towards improving practice. The uh, other iteration of this question that I received came in via email and what this question asked about um, what well, was actually phrased really nicely was um, the writer said uh, I believe a discourse community is a group of people who share the same objectives and goals while a community of practice is a group of people who are all passionate about the same issue. So that's a perfect distinction, except this particular person uh, flipped the terms. Again, the key words are discourse and practice. Discourse one can participate in because of interest and knowledge. Practice one must be involved in uh, the field. So ergo, uh, that's a perfect distinction. The terms are just uh, backwards. Now, in terms of how this looks in, via published literature, I'm going to send out the article that um, was sent to me to ask whether it belonged to a discourse community or community of practice. And um, again, technically the answer is both, but if we had to make the call, it would be community of practice because of the specific recommendations that are made and the target audience involved. So I'll send that out uh, so everybody can take a look at it. Another tell, by the way, is that community of practice publications will probably be shorter. Um, the article in question that I'm referring to, which of course you'll get a chance to look at um, up close and personal, uh, that article was I believe four pages. Yeah, only four pages with 14 citations. Now that's a thorough article. Um, I mean 14 citations divided by four pages, what is that? Uh, three and a half citations per page. I mean, that's certainly well documented. Uh, but what you'll find is that particularly in scientific and technical fields, um, discourse community work has far more citation. So the total incidence of citation should be a little bit of a tell as well there. Um, so I'll send that out and you can kind of use that as a 
um, jumping off point to get that distinction between discourse communities and communities of practice. And uh, good luck over the weekend with your work. I've been really pleased with the participation so far from everyone. Um, everyone's received full credit so far for all your Blackboard posts. And let's just keep that going. Anything that comes up over the weekend, let me know, and I'll address it in a short lecture on Monday. Have a good weekend.